Hey guys, it's Stormerblade, and welcome to Hardcore Minecraft Mondays. I'm super excited for this series, so don't forget to subscribe, and let's get right into it. So I'm definitely going to be naming this Hardcore Minecraft Season 2. It's only Season 2 because I would count Season 1 as the first series I did. I think it was like a three-episode series where I died to a skeleton inside the house I was building. But that's not going to happen this time, hopefully. So, with one button, turns hardcore. And now, create a new world. All right, I'm really hoping for a great spawn here. All right, come on, let's go. This is taking a while. All right, where did we spawn? Dang, what a... F okay, so, looks like we are in a... Intersect... Okay. Wait, seriously, we spawned in a whole bunch of intersection biomes, so it looks like we got taiga biome over there, we got plains biome over there, so probably could look for a village, we got a uh, mountain, mountain biome, which means we're, we can, I can get a lot of iron quickly that way, uh, well, I might as well start by getting food, finding sheep for a bed, and... I think those are the basic necessities I should start on. Hopefully, uh, my computer doesn't lag out too much. I do have shaders and texture packs running. Uh, recently, my computer has been struggling with them, but I'm hoping this doesn't struggle too much because I would not like to die to a laggy skeleton or zombie. <laughs> All right, so I make planks. So, alright, so what I'm planning on doing is making a pickaxe, getting a stone pickaxe, and basically mining as much iron as I can from the mountain, while whilst being aware for, of any food that's around me, because right now I also need sheep. Oh wait, there's sheep right there. See it? Right there, right there, okay. That's actually my first priority, <laughs> getting sheep, grabbing a bed, just so then I can sleep at night, and that'll be... Why, why are you running? Why are you running? That's gonna be... Stop lagging on me. That's gonna be half of my problems solved if I can skip the night where all the monsters are out to kill me. There we go. Oh wow, there's a lot of sheep here. No, there we go. I'm just gonna kill them all, grab the food, that, then while I get cobble for a stone pickaxe, I'll just uh, cook the lamb chop. Come on, there we go. There we go. Okay, I just wanna look around here, see if there's anything Interesting. Wow. So. Reload. Alright. Any more food? And there's a ravine? Or like a giant cave? Well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of coal right there. And right there. Okay. Well, this is definitely an optimal start to start out on. I can make a cool resort house on the side of the mountain however I need to that seems dangerous more sheep this is amazing yep there we go also have to be aware of powdered snow but this is going to get me so much iron. Look at all the iron. There's even emeralds right there. Okay. Alright, let's just be careful. So top snow does not spawn on um, what is the sinking snow called? Powdered snow. Crap. There we go. Powdered snow, as you can see here. Top snow 
not top snow. So I just need to be aware. There's also a slight varying texture, although with this shader pack, I doubt I'm gonna be able to fully detect when I see powdered snow. Okay, it broke and there was like one left and I could have made another. Eat. Okay, nice. Let's open this up and see here. Okay. My gosh. Mm, yeah, I'll make a stone sword, why not? I'm also really disappointed there was only one hole in that vein, if that's what you'd call it. Sounds like there's a cave nearby. Do I have enough wood for a bed? Yes, I do. In fact, I'm going to make that right now. Bed. We go okay I would like to not die all right I would like this cobble I also need to be aware of my food I forgot in hardcore mode for those who do not know you can die if you run out of food so I want to always be aware of how hungry I am and always make sure to be stocked up on food And I'll just grab the emerald because I can't. It's not iron. Pro Minecrafter right there. Nope. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Heal up. Great. I am just gonna. Fine. I guess I'll just wait for these. No, I'm taking them. I'm taking them. There we go. I'm just gonna dig all the way up. This mountain and see what I can get. That's that right there. Looks like there's iron right above it. So it shouldn't be too hard to get. More iron. Yay. Okay. I would not like to fall off this side here. To make a little platform so I do not. There we go. Alright, what do I have here? I'll grab some more here. There we go. Here's more iron. I'm just gonna grab as much iron as I can. Make armor, weapons, tools. It's really gonna just be altogether helpful. Looks like there's just a lot of snow and iron. Okay, so there's iron over there. Do I think I'm gonna get some? Not really. All right, start cooking. Drop. Nice. All right. So it looks like we got blue flowers down there. And it looks like that it's coming nighttime. So dusk. Don't go off the edge. I could technically go up a little higher and grab the iron that's right there. Wait. It's like right there. That smidgen of a pixel is iron. And I would like that iron that is a smidgen of a pixel. Right there, let's go. 
Jesus, how many iron have I got so far? So you got the three that were in the one vein. I give up. Um, I'm going to guess this is probably going to be 20 some by now. Yeah, because that's six. We definitely got more than 10 last time. And there is emerald there. I just don't. I don't think I'm going to get it. Don't die. All right. Run over here. How is it cooking? Yep, I have 29. I'll take that. Set that down right there. Grab nine. What do I want first? Definitely a shield. I think that's going to help. And I need wood if I ever want to make a sword. But it's nighttime, so I think I will go sleep. Slip. Okay. First night, done. Alright, don't need to save my spawn point. Not worth it. I guess I'll just make a chest plate. And then, are there any... Well, I guess, is there any easy iron I can grab while I'm here? There's some right up there. I don't want to go get that. Why am I on a mountain? Like, I know I need to get iron, but why now? First episode. Yeah, I'm just going to go up on a mountain and just try my best not to die. It's kind of high risk, high reward. And it's not even that high. I could get iron other ways. I'm just choosing to do it at a, at a dangerously uh, high altitude. Well, I should definitely have enough for um, armor and the bare necessities. There's more iron right there. There's no need to take risks. I should be cooking food when I'm at this. Yeah, I should be cooking food so then when I come back I can at least have a decent amount of cooked food. There we go. Okay. Well, I just need trees, so I am going to go down there and try not to die. Ow. There's iron right there. They're just mocking me because I don't have a pick. Oh my gosh. Ow. Delayed reaction, I just noticed it. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy. Alright, go, go, go. Eat. Eatly deet. Yo. Okay. All the way back up. Time consuming. Actually, no, it's right there. Okay. Surprised. How's this going? This is going great. And I got my sticks. Let's go. All right, got pick. Got my axe. Okay, it's gone. Um, more iron. What do I have? Everything but the chest plate. Iron boots. Iron helmet. All right. I am fully suited up. That was a good mining expedition. And I still have extra iron. Is there a bucket? I need a bucket. That would be optimal. 
So as I have gotten all my iron equipment that I would have liked, I'm surprised I got it this quickly. But the next few things I would like are a village, uh, easy iron from iron golems, and food as well as various resources I can get from chests. Um, really, that's it. Maybe a nice cave, although as I do have iron, I don't really need to go into a cave quite yet. Probably find a nice place where I can settle down and build a house. I'm going to grab this now. There we go. All right, to grab my food, which I have cooked. Yes, I'm definitely going to need a village for food. I have so little. But look at this terrain. I need a bucket. That's why you cook the iron. I just remembered. There we go. Okay. I mean, oh, yeet, uh, yeet. If I come across iron, I might as well grab it. Who knows if I'll need it again. And if it's right by me and requires no effort in getting, it's like free money. If someone walks up to you in the street and says, hey, do you want this $20 bill? Judge them first. Uh, oh my gosh, no. Okay, well, a first experience with, or second experience with this powdered snow. Stop bothering me. I mean, at least I can just do this. Oh my gosh, this is already gonna get so old. Just give me, okay, there we go. At least you can't take fall damage. Okay. When you fall in powdered snow. And there's food. Yay. I have food with like a great combination. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ow. All right, let's see here. What do we have on the horizon? You're safe, chicken. Does anyone truly like chicken? Aside that they're easy to breed. No one really likes Minecraft chicken because it doesn't give too much saturation. If it's cooked, yeah. But I would probably say that sheep and... Pigs and cows do better. Hmm. Here we go. There are pigs right there. Nice. Got two pork chops. Look away, child. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey. Take a look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Hey, hey. Looking at me? Okay, yep. I don't think she noticed. It needed to be done. Oh, come on. What is my aim right now? There. <laughs> Yeesh. Okay. I got stuff. I love it. Okay. through this under hay get it again don't fall there we go love the glories i love shaders shaders just make the minecraft experience so much more immersive and the stay true texture pack mwah, chef's kiss it's amazing it just it still makes it feel slightly vanilla but it makes it so much more realistic and i love realism 
one of the first things I do when I get a good amount of subscribers is g making a Minecraft, but it's super realistic. The problem is I'm going to need upgraded PC equipment and I don't have the money right now. Gotta save for college. I think you have a cousin. Huh. So subscribe and maybe I'll do that. I'd like to just search the web, the internet, and find these crazy detailed um, texture packs and shader packs and then play Minecraft. I mean, PC right now is decent, but it'll struggle. I'm the one t shader that I really like struggling with. Look at, look at what State True can do. It can change the color of birch leaves. It makes birch less boring. There are more sheep. And yeet. Boom. Dead. Slip. I'm gonna get you. Where did the sheep go? Oh, I saw you. Nope, you're not running away this time. There we go. Okay. <sighs> you know, I think I have enough food for now, especially if I'm only trying to find a village. Is that dark oak? Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to grab a dark oak sapling just in case when I have a base, I want to grow my own trees uh, in different worlds and stuff I have found that is very good to just gather saplings if you ever come across the jungle because if you don't remember it just grow your own trees in your own backyard it'll help deforestation and you get the t tree type you want it's a win-win okay I need four I have one and I got a stick too amazing There's a sapling. The content you've always wanted. I might be asking yourself, why didn't you get a birch sapling? Because birches are found pretty much everywhere. Darko, ta taiga, if I'm saying that correctly. Jungle, spruce. It's a taiga biome. There we go. Four. There, now I can grab... Uh, make my own and I'm I've almost traveled no not no not quite I was gonna say I've almost traveled all the biomes in the overworld well that's not true I mean I've definitely traveled a lot more than I thought I would be in the first 30 minutes the different taiga biomes because this is the large taiga biome you got gullies hmm. oh I love the flowers so pretty okay <laughs> eat food nom 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 Explore till I found something interesting. I don't think my editor is gonna speed this up, so it, it should be just be peaceful. Just traversing through an expansive biome. What do you think of the shirt I'm wearing? It's not on. It's not for sale, but it's Drummer Blade merch, and I love it. Man, it's just the rugged biomes. I'm, I'm so. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'd like planes, maybe. Planes would be nice. Not like planes that would go. Not like planes that go across the sky. But the planes, the biome. 
Wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, speak of the devil, planes. Okay, all right, now I go into third person and hunt for villages. I'm gonna turn up my video settings so it's gonna lag, but it'll render them. All right, come on. What is that up there? I thought I saw a ruined portal. And if you hear any humming, that's my PC. It's gonna get a little loud. You might not actually hear it. Oh, it's struggling. Come on. You can do it. All right, so that's not Plains Village. See it right there? Okay. And then it just goes 12. Bingo. And now I know there's a village right there. And I wouldn't have seen it if I didn't up my render distance, which is why upping your render distance, whether or not it lags, is sometimes a good idea. Maybe that's why it's lagging. All right. What do I want from here? Food, iron, stuff, really anything interesting. No. Bed, sure. Also, lag is immense. Oh, the lag. Yo. Hello. Um, I don't know if I want to take that or not. There's nothing in here. Yeah, why not? I could use it. If I ever get my own villagers, it'd be helpful. Now, here's something I would like. Steal all these books. Nice. Thank you very much, sir. Deeply appreciated. Strip the log while I'm at it. I always grab a whole bunch of these whenever I go to a village for absolutely no reason. I don't usually need them, but I just do. But I'm going to leave it today. I'm feeling nice. Party stole from, uh, borrowed from that house. A bales, yes, exactly what I would like. You're not mad at me, are you? Okay. I'm just making sure you never know. Hello. Oh, I am sorry. Now, if I could find a saddle with a horse, that would be amazing. There's another librarian. Let's flip and go. Not too worried about grabbing any lecterns. Although this is basically fast free iron. Love it. More hay bales. Coal. Fish don't care. Seeds. Also don't care. Smithing table, meh. I can make my own whenever I need it. This is a pretty big village. I'm impressed. Bed, eh. Uh, I got three. That's good enough for me. So what did I not borrow from? I can also slip sleep in this village for the night. And that's just going to add a level of security and safety. Is this another village? I would assume not. I assume it's just a continuation of that village. But I'm surprised it's so far out. What's going on? Is this one lonely hermit's house? It's just right here. Interesting. Okay, well, I got hay bales. I got 12 hay bales. It'll be enough. Not as much as I would have liked. liked. Bigger skimpy choosers. What is that? Flower. Oh. <laughs> it looked different. 
from the surrounding landscape. So I was assuming maybe another village. Nope. And then we sp I spam the button until something happens. Okay, so nighttime yet? Yeah. Wow. Looks nighttime to me. Excuse me, this is my house. No, all you get out. No, 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 no. Punch you, but I'm gonna get killed. Excuse me. There, now how do you like it? Thought so. Right, you go do your farming. What? Oh. It's because I stole all the beds. Okay, well, where sh I barely saw that. Wait, what is that? Is that a ruin? Ruin nether portal? No, okay. Never mind. False alarm. I might stream. Ow. I might stream sometime. I haven't streamed before, but I might stream uh, this hardcore world on YouTube, maybe. I, comment below if you'd watch, because I, I don't really want to stream for nobody. I, otherwise, an empty room, empty chat. So, comment down below if you would watch or not. Any advice or answer would be very helpful. I have to say this fog, this like fog that goes into the... Anyway, this is really annoying because I can barely see enough. Look at that. That's a pretty sick waterfall. I got one trail. Like it's not large. It just goes straight down one block wide. I love it. And then I meet the ocean. The ocean rumbles as waters fall and waves crash against the beach. Drummer Blade looks for any land, anything that would pique his interest, but nothing comes to his eye. Oh, ho, ho, nether. I don't want to. I have not gotten a water bucket, and do I want to go to the nether so soon? I'm unsure about that. By unsure, I really want to, but do I think I will die? Yes. Definitely. It is not safe. Okay, well, I'm going to anyway. What do I want here? I'd like to grab that. There we go. I messed it up, I think. It's fine. Yes, okay. I'm taking this slowly because I haven't made another purple like this in a while. so wrong. Um, I'm just going to do it my way. Just grab this. I know wood will burn. I also made a lot. Which is not very helpful. Please, no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, I think I have enough. And crop. Okay. That'll work. 
questionable this. Yes, I will. Amazing. I'm gonna take this slow because I do not want to screw anything up here. Is that high enough? Yeah. It's three. Yeah, okay. I'm so scared. Yes. Don't think I need to worry that much, but I was worried that the lava would get covered up by water. There we go. Now I can. Unless it doesn't want to, in which case it's totally fine by me. Also, just gonna burn all these wood pieces I don't need. There we go. I had way too many in my inventory anyways. I don't really need these random wall. I'll just stick with white. And flint and steel. I do not have flint. Yep. Okay. Objective of flint. Objective gravel. I don't want to go all the way over there just for gravel. I'm going to go all the way there just for gravel. Uh, or am I? Yeah, I am. Or, or am I? Flint. Oh, called it. Amazing. Burn. There you go. Cha Ching. Okay, so I'm thinking I need to be wary of piglins because I do not have gold on. Aside from that, I'm not too worried about everything else. I'm worried about where I'm gonna spawn. Two worst places are under, okay, three. Over lava, under lava, or literally out in the middle of nowhere. Also the crimson forest. Guess that's four. But the rest are kinda chill. I'm gonna put that down. Start cooking some of these bad boys. Right there. Awesome. Okay. Alright, please be good, please be good, please be good. Oh frick. I had specifically said no crimson and there's piglins. Go through, go through, go through, go through, please. Okay, well, uh, and nothing really cooked. Wasn't an experience. Yes, was it a good experience? I don't care. I got to the nether. Wasn't happy with what I saw, and now I'm gonna make bread and I'm going to leave. I'm also gonna make a boat. Yeah. And you don't need. Shovels, that's bedrock edition. Eat. And it's just about nighttime. Alright, I am going to go sailing. 
I'm going to go sailing. Ow. Army her. Okay, I do have a thing installed for cave noises, as you probably guessed, but it's not that bad. Hard me hearty. Just sailing on me open seas. Uh, it was a long day, went to the nether. Heard zombies under the water making some darn strange noises. And this is where my sailing adventure ends, I suppose. Grab the boat, and now we walk. And walk. And horses. I do not have a saddle. I do not care. Sugarcane. Okay, fine. I always seem to grab sugarcane whenever I'm out adventuring just because... I don't really know. It's... it's. I always usually need books and then I'm low on sugarcane. And if I just get sugarcane while I'm traveling, I can plant it. Sugarcane farms are super easy to make. So that gives me one less thing to worry about. And it's just about nighttime. Sleep. Look at that sunset. Good morning. I still need to find a good place for me to sleep. You will be spared today. What is that? This is a very interesting landscape I am traversing mm. on right now. What happened there? Also sugar cane. Oh, there's the sugar cane. And more sugar. I'll just leave it. I have enough. Alright, what happened over here? What's up with this weird bridge thingy? That's cool. Dang. Also, looks like a pretty good cave right there. I don't care too much though, got iron. Basically just wanna find the spots. And I know when I'll find it. Ooh, what's going on here? I got lava that's just loaded in apparently. Hmm. Cool. Anyway, but basically, yeah. sometimes if I get an inspiration, I don't know what I'm quite going to build yet. Um, but once I figure it out, there'll be, I'll come across a place, uh, a terrain that I like, and I'm just like, this is great for what I want to build on. How many sheep spawned here? I'm sorry, but yeah, you kind of all need to go. I can't let a good food opportunity pass me up. There we go. Bop. Bop. Yeet. Bop. There we go. So I'm hooked up on supplies. I just need to find the place. Hmm. It's a lot of dark oak, and I do like planes just because on planes biomes, it's just so easy to build on. It's already pretty flat, and really, I'm sorry. Ooh, 10 experience. 
and watching Hermitcraft and, and stuff. I mean, that's one way I can find a good inspiration for builds. Uh, speaking of the Hermitcraft server, I'm just speaking about servers in general. I do have a plan to start my own SMP, a uh, pseudo roleplay, um, but uh, if you sub subscribe to stay tuned on it, there will be some rules and some restrictions to joining. But uh, it will, I think it will be a very fun opportunity for, just, if you have a YouTube channel, small uh, creators like uh, you and I to be on the server and basically role play and hopefully grow each of our channels. Subscribe to stay tuned on that. If I get enough subscribers, it's, it's in the works. And if I ever hit a million subscribers, I think it's going to take forever for that to actually happen. I'm struggling to get to a thousand, which I'm trying to by the end of the summer. Um, but I doubt it's ever going to get to a million. But if it ever does, for my million sub special, I'm going to release a Discord server. A gaming Discord server for pretty much anyone. And I have the inspiration to have it become the biggest gaming server on Discord. That's also in the works, and for that, I'm going to need moderators um, and admins and basically a whole crew of people. But that'll be at a million subscribers if I ever get that far. This, the Minecraft server on the other topic, though, however, would be at maybe, I don't know, less subscribers. Also, ruin another portal. Oh my gosh, that is giant. I hope that's good stuff for the chests. All right. There is a cave right there. Why, hello there. I mean, wait, let me see. Are you going to kill? I'm going to have this kill the creeper. I'm going to wait here as long as it takes. <sighs> wait. Music disc. I... I forgot about that. If a skeleton kills a creeper, you get a music disc. Stall. Dang, that's cool. I I never tried to get that to happen. Um, I know there are faster ways of getting a music disc from a creeper. Um, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, what do we have here? Ow. Is there any chest? Okay, there is. Hey, Gapel. Not bad. Okay, but I do, would, I would like the gold. Is there any gold on the ground? I will dig and just verify that this is all. Probably not coming back here again. So I just want to be absolutely sure. And I think I'm sure now. some junk don't need that don't need that don't need that mm -hmm. okay I think that's about all that I do not need grab these two hey hey and I get a good viewpoint so I have spruce biome aka taiga and it's I'm guessing it stretches all the way from there all the way around and then the plains biome comes all the way up to there 
Um, get out of the water, please. Thank you. What, what did I pick up? Oh. Don't need that. I'm going to keep the burning stand. I don't know why, but I'm just going to. I don't like dropping stuff. Once I grab something, I want to keep it. Why would I want to drop it? I can definitely use it later. I just don't know how much later I'm going to use it. I also like a good cave. I'll stop at a good cave. Spruce is beautiful. Let's look at it. I love, I also love taking scenic pictures in Minecraft. I actually want to pull some up right now. I'm going to take a look at some of these. Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. I got, I think this is, this may actually, I think this is BSL shaders. But look how serene and peaceful it is. You got the, the sun glancing off the trees. You got the reflective water. It's so pretty. This, look at this spruce. This is just the atmosphere just gives off this cool forest vibe it, it's it's so cool i love taking pictures like these and this one's just in my one survival world i just it was nice to see the acacia village surrounded by the acacia plains with the water it was very pretty but yeah just stuff like that is just so cool and I believe it's getting to be night, which means I need to be very wary. This, this could be a great picture. And uh, too bright. You have to be careful not to get your shadow in the picture because that can happen and it'll mess up the aesthetic because one good aesthetic uh, picture will not have one's shadow in it. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. I'm trying to think if I made a base, like spruce is just, it seems like a cozy type of biome uh, with the morning fog and just the anti-city life that it gives. Just you alone or you with your, your, your partner. Mm, I love it. Um, but what would I build here if I eventually settled here? I'm also wondering how long does this stalactite and stalagmite cave run? This has been there since I spawned in. And oh my gosh, look at that god ray. That's amazing. Brings a tear to my eye. I might find a Taiga village or Spruce village. I do not know, honestly. Oh, don't lag on me now. Come on. Okay, so that's Dark Oak. Near sheep. Um, it's just pleasant. Oh my gosh, I do not want to be on the edge. Whew. I'm tired, so my nerves are basically overreacting. I'm going to see a, a five foot drop and I'm going to basically jump out of my chair. Ooh. Is that swamp? No. Okay, it's just, it's just normal. It looked like a swamp village for a second, but upon further inspection, it was merely a dark oak. And it looks like we're back in plains, or just high up on a mountain. Hmm. That is the cause of deforestation right there. Okay. 
So how do we fix deforestation? We just make sure the render chunks in the world are like kept or we just unrender them and then no lava can burn down the trees. It's as easy as that. I actually want to go back to the taiga. I'm just thinking about it now. I, I think I could get some really cool house designs in there. I'm a builder. I know, I know. You're probably wondering this, this, you know, 47 subscriber YouTube channel. This guy says he's a builder. Well, yes, I am. And I would have some decent pictures to prove it. However, uh, mostly they are in bedrock. So as the series progresses, you will need to judge for your I'm watching you. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Okay. You will need to judge for yourself and determine whether or not I am a good builder or not. So where do I want to build? And what do I want to build once I figure out where I want to build? Hmm. Oh my gosh, that's a tall tree. Look at this. This is like, <laughs> it's also like hanging right over the edge. So it goes all the way up there. Hey, this is a great picture. There we go. Okay, fine. All right, where do I want to build this thing? It would be, I have an idea running through my head about what I want to build. Although it's gonna be difficult and basically forbidden in Minecraft. If you're confused, don't be. Just just give me a second. Let me find a good place, and then I shall explain everything. Oh, gosh, I need food. Oh, I have food. Bread. I am saved. All right, so this is... Oh, no, it continues. Great. Because I was worried that... If it stopped right there, I would not have a lot of taiga. There's a dog. Do I have bones? Shoot, I don't have bones. I'll come back for you someday. Hmm. A bit further in, in the midst of all the trees would be great. Specific, I would like it to be the mm, <laughs> canyon, well, mini canyon. I'd like it to be within the big, uh, the large spruce forest. Ah, this right here, because then you got the big trees. If I had a hillside, I'm just saying here, I'm trying to picture it in my head. So this would be great for caving and dying hopefully not we'll see um would that work hmm okay farther in is a lot better what do i want let me see here What seems interesting? It's over here. A cavernous ravine. Oh my gosh, no, please. Here's a little spruce. 
I would not like for my finger to mess up the control key here. Control is my crouch. What I meant is I hope my finger does not accidentally make me trip and fall to my death. That would be bad. Not good. Anti-good. Hmm. So I'm guessing it kind of stops here. Does it? Does it not? How far does frickin' Taiga? Pretty far okay. Holy moly. Mm. I need to see what this looks like in the morning. Um, I don't like these. all these caverns right here. I had a spot that I was considering when I was walking back to the, uh, walking through this biome prior to me saying, I'm going to build here. I think I have found it. What about... Hmm, this can be require a little bit of work. What about a hobbit hole right here? Like in the Shire. In the forest. And then it would just extend as a whole in this hill. And so basically, would go right into this hillside, and maybe not quite a hobbit hole, but close to one. Oh my gosh, it's night. So basically, there would be a circle right here um, that would lead inside. And why it's forbidden is because it's a circle. It's going to be a pain to make would be really cozy I could build into this hillside um, and pull my farms and farms <laughs> just all those stuff in there I think it would work great let's sit down some of my stuff here I guess start cooking some food because I think, I think a hobbit hole is a great idea. And I think it's also a very long episode to start the series. So I think I'm going to stop it here. I got food, I got supplies. I got pretty much a great base gear and stuff that I would need. Uh, and... I think I found a place for my house, which I think I'm going to make in next episode. So thank you for taking in your time out of your day to travel on this journey with me. I'm super excited for the series, uh, trying out Minecraft Hardcore again. Hopefully it went better than it did last time. I think it's going to. I can't say have a great day and see you guys next week. But I can say have a great day and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Later.